Um, Josh, welcome to the club um, and congratulations on a fantastic debut. I mean, I'm sure you were pleased with it. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, to be fair, the lads still did really well. Obviously, we got the win and um, scored two great goals towards the end. Um, but for me, it was like my first experience playing in a men's game, if you like. So, um, yeah, I've said thank you to the fans for welcoming me and um, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. So. And a penalty saved the boot as well, fantastic. Yeah, for sure. I mean, at the time I felt like um, he was probably going to go across his body. He was quite a strong lad, so I thought he'd probably try and put it in that corner. And I kind of sort of dummied one way and then went the other. So um, obviously pleased to make a save and, and help the team. So yeah, uh, I think it's fair to say you've been thrown into the deep end. Um, but how have you found it so far down here? Yeah, honestly, everyone's been really, really helpful. Um, particularly Gary and um, all the lads. Um, I, I can't, I can't thank everyone enough for for my welcome. Um, Let's find a bit more about yourself then. I mean, explain to us this situation where you have played for four countries at an international <laughs> level. How has that come about? Um, to be fair, it's, it's, it's a little bit of an odd one. My mum's from Stockholm. Um, so I sort of played for Sweden when I was a little bit younger. We played two games against uh, Finland and Norway, um, which were just my first taste of international experience. It was like maybe 15, 16. And then sort of during the COVID year, um, England came up, which was... Again, a really, really good opportunity. Um, and then with the Republic of Ireland, we played a game against Hungary. And then I sort of made my international decision, if you like. Um, I had a number of conversations with uh, Joe Little and uh, Roy Carroll. And um, yeah, at, the, at the end, basically around September time, I uh, decided to play for Northern Ireland. And we've had two games um, against the Pharaohs. Uh, we had our European qualifiers uh, in the Czech Republic in October and then was just recently away with um, the senior team, which yeah. was an amazing experience. Yeah, I was going to ask you what that was like, because we, well, I remember, was it Euro 2016? Um, one of our players at the time had gone and played with the squad yeah. at that time as well. What's that like as an experience, being part of that international uh, setup? Honestly, I can't, I can't thank the manager enough, um, Ian Barraclough and, and, and Roy, for, for welcoming me into that environment. Just for me, just to experience that, um, and see what it's like in a senior men's international environment as a 17 year old is is um, is great experience going forward so if I ever get the opportunity again hopefully I'll be um, prepared for for if that comes so um, as I say just with the fans and at Windsor Park it was just and to be on the bench against Luxembourg was just an amazing experience so yeah have to ask you as well about this viral video scoring round of you scoring a goal for Bournemouth <laughs> now, last week we had a striker that went in goals are you willing to go up front uh, if needed no problem whatever Gary needs no problem <laughs> uh, to be fair even that was just like a mad one um, we we were down, uh, it was like one of the last games before Christmas and um, there was a, we had another injury and I'd come off at about maybe 70 minutes or so and um, I'd kept a clean sheet, it was all happy, it was ready for, for Christmas day and um, anyway we had uh, another injury and um, went on, the, I swapped kits with a lad who was, was injured and he had a number seven shirt on and uh, I was in yellow socks, black, black and red shirt black shorts and he was just left in his uh, underpants in, <laughs> in December so um, that was a bit odd but anyway uh, there were loads of bets placed on like I'll get you an iPad if um, if you score and all these sort of bets I'm still waiting for a few to come back to me <laughs> um, but I went on and um, we played a lot of, like two touch games played a lot of two touch so particularly with goalies and stuff so um, I flicked it up and then managed to <laughs> Didn't, didn't the goalie so it was yeah it was one of the best moments I've had in, in football if you like so yeah really enjoyed that one well hopefully you have a few more great moments around here listen great debut thanks right, very much thank for taking you. this no cheers worries,